Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'll be going over 10 useful shortcuts that you can use in Eclipse. So these shortcuts will help you to write code quicker and be more efficient with Eclipse. So really quickly before the video starts, over 99% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you're part of that 99%, please consider subscribing. It's completely free. And when you do subscribe, make sure to click on the bell next to the subscribe button. So most of my videos about programming um, and Java. Uh, sometimes I do just regular tech videos, um, but yeah, if you are interested in any of those things, be sure to subscribe, and yeah, let's get into the video. So the first shortcut that um, I think is very useful is Control-1. So this brings up the quick fix menu for uh, an error. Let's say I have this program right here, and I accidentally misspell this right here. So I made it pane.add instead of panel.add. Now you can see I have an error, and if you're on that line, you can do Control-1. On your keyboard and it'll bring up the quick fix menu so you can choose a quick fix in this case I'm going to choose this one right here to change the panel and then you can see that the uh, error is resolved the second shortcut is alt up or down so this moves an entire line or block of code up or down so if I'm just have my cursor on a line and I do alt down it moves the entire line down and if I do the up arrow it moves it back up I can also highlight a huge block of code and do alt down to move it down and alt up to move it up. The third shortcut is control D. This shortcut deletes a row. So if I'm if my cursor is on this row right here and I do control D, the entire row is just deleted. Um, and I just did control Z to undo that. But yeah, that's a useful shortcut if you just want to strap an entire line of code. The next shortcut is control F. And if you do that, it helps you to search for something in your code. So as you can see here, I've typed in panel and it's brought up 15 different matches. And I can use these arrows to go through all of the different matches. And it also shows some yellow arrows right here. Um, you can also change what you're looking for. So if I wanted to make this be label and then click enter, and now it's become four different results and I can scroll through those four results. The next shortcut is F11. And what this does is it runs your code. So if I'm in this um, program right here and I do F11, you can see that it will run the program. And in this case, the program creates a GUI window. The next shortcut is Control shift o and so what this shortcut does is it basically removes any unused imports and it adds any imports that are needed. So as you can see here, I've just imported the entire Java to AWT and the entire Java X swing, but I don't need every single thing within there. So if I do, if I highlight this and I do Control shift o it's going to get rid of those and just import the things that I need. And also, if I had added something like uh, import java.util.scanner, and then I highlighted this all and did Control Shift O again. It would get rid of the scanner because that's not being used. The next shortcut is Control Shift and F. And so this basically formats your code. And you can customize formatting of your code by going to Windows and then Preferences and then go to Java and then uh, Code and Style, Code Style, and then uh, Formatter. And in here, you can choose the formatting for your code. And uh, once you change that, when you highlight your code and do Control Shift F, it will format it based on the formatting that you set. The next shortcut is Control I, and this shortcut basically does indentation for you. So if I go ahead and mess up all my indentation here, um, just uh, make everything um, random. So like this. You can see clearly that this is not how the indentation should be, but uh, if I highlight my entire um, program and I do Control uh, i it will re-indent everything and make it indented correctly. And that's a very useful feature. Sometimes you may have a lot of code that you indented wrong, and instead of having to manually fix it, you can just do Control i to indent. The next shortcut is Alt-Shift-R, and this is very useful uh, from my experience. Um, if you want to rename a variable. And so let's say I have this variable right here called panel. And as you can see, it comes up uh, quite a few times in my program. But let's say I wanted to change it to something like uh, jpanel1. Now, um, instead of having to go through each and every um, instance and change it, what I can do is highlight it, click Alt Shift R, and then type the new name. So I want to name it jpanel1. And you can see it changed every single uh, instance of that to jpanel1. And I can even go back and change it. So I can go back to here, do Alt Shift R and panel, and it changes back. 
And the last tip is maybe one of the most useful because if you go to Windows, Preferences, General, and then go to Keys, you can actually see the full list of every single uh, keybind and you can also remap any keybind that you want. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Once again, I make programming videos and sometimes I make other tech videos. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.